We know that a lot of car shoppers are looking for practical, spacious, fuel-efficient crossovers as their daily drivers. And if that is what you're looking for, well, there's plenty of options out there. Here's one that buyers can often overlook, the Hyundai Tucson. It was completely redesigned for the 2016 model year, and it's got a great European style to it and a new turbo engine under the hood. The compact crossover class is extremely competitive though, so let's see if the Tucson has what it takes to compete. How does it look? It's quite stylish, with great creases on the bodywork and some sporty touches like the rear spoiler, exposed exhaust tips and so on. Compared to some other crossovers in its price range, the Tucson is one of the more eye-catching options. On this model specifically, look for LED lighting and the cool 19-inch wheels. How's the storage? Good, but not great. With the back seats up, you get 31 cubic feet of storage, and when you fold them down, about 60 cubic feet. Those are good figures, but they're way farther behind than what you'll get in rivals from Honda, Nissan, and Toyota. So let's see what it looks like when we put our new suitcases from away back there. For the driver and passenger, there are cup holders in the console and bottle holders on the doors a roomy enough storage cubby, and another storage area below the center stack with convenient access to the 12 volt and USB ports. Is it roomy? It's really roomy, and one of the great things is that up front, you sit very high compared to the hood line, helping you see everything ahead really easily. It provides that up high, in command driving position crossover shoppers look for. The rear seats are plenty spacious too, with more than enough legroom and headroom for an average size adult like myself to sit back here comfortably and they recline so you can get a different angle if you want. How does the interior feel? The plastics in this car kind of look and feel like they do in most of the Tucson's competitors. And I like that this fully loaded limited model's got lots of leather and soft touch materials in here. One thing I appreciate in this car, like in a lot of Hyundais, is that the secondary controls are great. By which I mean that all the other buttons and switches I need when I'm driving are really easy to find, they're very legible. It means I can operate a lot of things like the climate control and the infotainment system without taking too much attention off the road. Is it well equipped? Absolutely, with all the modern conveniences and features we've come to expect on a fully loaded crossover. There's an enormous panoramic roof, heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, LED lighting, pre-collision braking, lane departure warning, a power lift gate function, and so on. Now, some of those features are limited to the top tier limited trim level, but overall there are no glaring emissions in terms of the Tucson's feature set. How's the infotainment system? I appreciate that there are physical volume and tuning knobs, as well as these physical buttons to switch between menu modes. I also like that the menu structure on screen is quick and responsive. The support for both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Is it a good daily driver? With great forward visibility, really easy steering, and a very comfortable ride, the Tucson makes a great first impression as a daily driver. It's a little bit louder in terms of road noise and wind noise than I expected, but not so much that it's a deal breaker. Now the 1.6 liter turbo engine has a lot of torque, 195 pound-feet to be specific. But what it's fighting against is this transmission. It's a seven-speed dual clutch, and although shifts are quick, sometimes, a lot of times the transmission is slow and hesitant and clunky. In city driving at low speeds especially, it can be really awkward and take its time to figure out what gear to use. That really frustrates me, and it makes it really unpredictable when you're pulling away from a stop sign in traffic or moving through a parking lot. Overall though, the Tucson is very nice as a daily driver. There's nothing here that would really stop me wanting to drive it every single day. Is it fun to drive? Among compact crossovers, the Tucson is perfectly mid-pack in terms of fun to drive. There's nothing bad about driving it. There's nothing I dislike from behind the wheel, but nor does it really get the juices flowing. It's really not that quick with this turbo engine. If you're looking for something that's fun to drive in this class, you need to move to the Mazda CX-5 or the turbo versions of the Kia Sportage and Subaru Forester. How's the fuel economy? With this all-wheel drive model, you'll get 24 city, 28 highway, and 25 miles per gallon combined. Pick the front drive Tucson Eco, and those figures can climb as high as 26 city and 32 highway. 
Those are good numbers, but the Tucson still lags slightly behind more efficient models like the Honda CR-V, Nissan Rogue, and Mazda CX-5. How much is it? Base prices run from $23,000 to $32,000, and this fully loaded limited all-wheel drive model is $35,000. That range lines up pretty much perfectly with other competitive small crossovers. What are the negatives? As I said before, the combat crossover class is really competitive with a lot of really good entries. The Tucson falls behind because it struggles in two of the most critical objective measures, fuel efficiency and cargo room. Who should buy it? The Hyundai Tucson's got sharp styling, a lot of available equipment, and it's really pleasant to drive. Now, it's not the valedictorian of this very competitive class in some objective measures, but it does have a 10-year warranty, and there's nothing that we really dislike about it, so it could be a very practical choice if you're looking for a new combat crossover. If you liked this why buy video on the Tucson, be sure to click the like button, and if you're shopping for a compact crossover, you might want to check out our why buys of some of this car's competitors, including the Subaru Forester, Honda CRV, and Kia Sportage. You can also follow us on all of our social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course you can check us out at motorone.com.